Yo guys, welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, I got some things to show you. And we got some things to do. So, first, you'll see here, I did find a deep dark. And it's not letting me... Oh, it's being very slow. Anyways, um found a deep dark while I was strip mining. You, you see that? See that guy over there? The... Yeah. He, uh, he beat me up quite a few times. But, for good reason. Um, I'm sure you probably saw it when I went into my backpack. But, we did find some all the modium, which is great. Um, I'm not sure. Guess we can do our typical or doubling. I want to get into mechanism like uh, like triple and quadruple and like the mechanism route of um, da 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 da. What am I thinking of? Of like or duplicating, pretty much. And to do that, we need power. And this guy just, I mean, as good as it is, it's just, it's just not gonna cut it. But, uh, half of our issue was having resources in order to do it. But as you can see here, uh, I mean, we're, we're pumping a decent bit of stuff out. And you can see up there, there's a creeper stuck. Hmm, I'll have to fix that. But, I have a cave creeper um, farm. So cave creepers are fairly easy to get. Um, they're literally just creepers found in caves. And I was actually lucky enough to kill one and get an egg. Um, you can do that with uh, sword enchantments. Uh, I believe it's called capturing. And the better the capturing, the more likely you are to get eggs. So, I did get um, the cave creeper one. And I don't know if I showed you guys the blaze one yet or not. I forget because it's been a while. But this works pretty well. I mean, it gets me emeralds, diamonds, gold, iron, stone, and gunpowder. Which is great. And, and these fragment things, but... Those are going to get just voided. But the main thing here is iron ore and gold ore, diamonds, emeralds. You know, that's it's all really good stuff to have. Um, do I have this all chunk loaded? I do. Okay. So I'm actually too lazy to wait on our actual um, create setup to duplicate this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a hammer. Do I even have sticks? Guess not. We're just going to create a hammer and... Oh, crap. Oh, I guess we had a hammer. We're just going to duplicate it ourselves like so. And then... Throw this in here like so. And once we get this, we will have our first bit of all the modium. Now, what's the actual uses for this? Um, armor. Armor is a good one, but it's not actually unbreakable anymore. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I wonder if the tools are. Ooh, that's going to be useful. Gear. What's the gear used for? Nothing right now. All the modium. Oh, yeah. The tools are still indestructible. So, I guess it, it would be a worthwhile investment to make one. 
reason being uh you need one anyways to get vibranium and then you need vibranium to get unobtainium so it's not a bad idea and then how are the rods made And there we go, there is our Aldemodium pick, and that's actually probably quite a bit faster than ours. I wonder if we're able to... wish you could move enchantments. That would be great. Oh, and Dank. Dank is also in this pack, I don't know if I showed that. Dank storage is great. Um, it's like a... Uh, this will auto pick up stuff off the ground that has a slot in here. So I have clay, cobble, uh, deep slate, tough, and I have it compressing for the reason being um, that um, it's just better to have it compressed. There's a lot of things that you need compressed, but in today's video specifically, I would um, I would like to get into a better power solution. Well, it's I'm not gonna say it's better because it's um, it can be decent at best, but hopefully by the time it's done, it will be completely self-sufficient. And what better power than self-sufficient power? Um, and I actually saw someone else make it. It was Chosen Architect. And it was using um, arboreal or arboreal tractors around a tree. Ooh, I'm getting bad frame rate in that. But um, using these, it collects resin out of uh, trees. That's not what I want. Right. That's a fractioning still. It's an iron gear. We'll have to use this recipe. Um and these we're gonna make a whole stack of them. And we'll see how many of these we can make. I think we want four of them. We need buckets. Always need buckets. There are so many recipes in this game that just require buckets. Oh, I made one too many. Okay, next we want a tree. We don't have any clothes. Sapling. Now, I don't know if one tree in specific... Um, is better than the next but we're gonna find out so we're gonna put this right here there we go we have quite an ugly looking tree and then extract fluids from adjacent trees use fertilizer to boost production put down the axe Okay, so you see it collected resin, but it won't let me do uses on it. Uh, resin from thermal series can be used in a fractioning still to make rosin and tree oil. Tree oil can be burnt in a compression dynamo, which will be our power source. Now, of course, we all know anything with thermal expansion, you can pretty much upgrade using um, these uh, in, in integral and in integral kits, components. Uh, these just make the machine stronger and work better. I'm not sure if the ability stack, like if I had like four or three of these in a machine, 
it would uh, go times 16. But you never know. So I believe we can do something like this. And bone meal obviously just, um, like it says here, it just boosts production. Um, it's still fairly slow. And even when it's working, it, it doesn't produce all that much power. But the idea being is that it will, um, it, at the end of it, it'll be self-sufficient. Because if we have a sterling dynamo, um, you can burn the byproduct of resin uses this rosin. You can burn this in a dynamo, a sterling dynamo to produce power. And the power will power this fractioning still, which then is putting out the tree oil into the compression dynamos. So I'm, I'm gonna craft some of this stuff up and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So this is the setup I have. I changed this or the tree to, um, a normal uh, spruce tree. So the reason being, uh, I looked it up and it produces more resin. So if we go back, wait, my computer is not having it today. If we go and look at resin and look at recipes, um, it produces 50 from spruce and 25 from birch, oak, and acacia. And it doesn't work on any other trees. So spruce is obviously the best. Um, so we're using bone meal in here right now and it's extracting as much as it can. Um, not entirely sure how much you can get out of it, but as you can see here, um, takes resin in, it burns the rosin, free oil comes out, goes into our compression dynamos, which is, uh, looks to be producing a little bit of power. They do 40 RF a tick, but, you know, not going to push any out if our power isn't being used. So since it's not actually being used, oh, and I, I just keep putting blaze rods in that for now while it's um producing, you know, the base power. I want to see if I can actually craft any of these uh, compo <coughs> component kits. So let's see how many of these I can actually craft. Ten of them, that's not bad. Alright, they all now have one. So they should work, um, you know, better than what they normally do. That's producing more. This is going to produce ADR of a tick now. And what about the next kit? Reinforced requires hardened, a hardened kit, but it also requires Electrum, which is made using gold and silver. We can make, we can make more blast charge. This is currently the easiest way of doing it. I believe you can do it in an alloy kiln. We have one of these. I don't think I made one of these yet. I just made the blast furnace. Yeah, it's just the blast furnace. Um, so what do we want? We want electrum. I don't even see that and get in here. Take these guys out. Fire charge can be made using charcoal or coal, which we know we have plenty of that. There you go. There's a whole stack of it. All right. Next is integral up. We need signalum, which is made using a bunch of other stuff. We got a whole bunch of that. Once you have resources, crafting is not hard at all. We can obviously make only one because we need more of these, which requires more invar, which is just iron and nickel. We can make plenty of that. We 
Here we go. We got five of them. Now, I'm pretty sure I can stack these on top. I go like... So... This is 24,000. This is 24,000. Ah, so... It doesn't... Unfortunately, it doesn't stack like I wanted. So that, I mean, that sucks. But... In the same sense, it is what it is. But we are not producing, like, any resin whatsoever. I thought that would be a lot quicker than what it actually is. Maybe it's a, a daylight issue. Take a quick nappy nap here. Unless it's just like going straight into here. This obviously has plenty of power. This just... Maybe I, they have to actually be placed on the tree. So, these pipes are going to be reconfigured again. Can't even see that one anymore. Oh, dang it. All right. Just making this more painful on myself. So we'll go with something like that. So, I mean, in theory, this should just automatically extract resin out of uh, El Spruce Tree here. But it does not seem to be wanting to do it. Extracts fluids from adjacent trees. Use fertilizer to boost production. Put down the axe. I mean, this should be working. So. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll let this go for a while and just... You know, watch it, but that should be a self sufficient power setup for early game. Other than that, I mean, um, while we're getting more resources, I think we should just work on a power reactor, or, um, this mod pack does have bigger reactors. This wouldn't be a, a bad one. We'll actually probably dive into this one. Um, Let's see what power options it gives us. Uh, B farm, solar, solar, uh, wireless transfer, wireless everything. These are so good. Oh, and they're so cheap. No kidding. Um, coal generators, booty. Batteries, we'll use energy cubes. Advanced power generation. Uh, just a basic big reactor. So, I mean, this is probably what we'll get into. I'll have to look up some, uh, oh, no shot. I'm just going to smelt it. I'm too lazy. That's cool. So, uh, I mean, I guess I'll get going on a bigger reactor off camera. I'll end the episode here. It's probably a shorter one, but, you know is what it is not much i can do um the, the power reactor is not actually that bad of an idea either um how hard is it to get nitro nitro is blazing crystal block redstone block nether star the only issue i have right now is probably the nether star i don't think we're well equipped enough to actually kill a wither wow not bad at all. Hmm. You literally just craft them. But uh, we could probably get it up to a spirited pretty easily. So I'll probably do that off camera as well. It's just a lot of crafting. Um, and 
I'm, I'm pretty much just wasting resources at this point. Get going on things, but uh, you know, what? let's let's just keep going. I'll I'll just start going with the power reactor on camera. Um, we should have quite. Gosh, we don't have that much redstone. Here I am thinking we have way more than we do. Um. Make a stack of those. Uh, where is? I am so lost today playing. How many of these do we need? How many of these make a reactor? We have our book. Reactor three by four to build it. You'll need 36 reactor blocks. Oh, 36 reactor blocks. Now to go up, we'll go uses. Uh, we want basic here. We want a bunch of these big boys. Uranite. what we run out of first um what did we need we need the big ones we need the even bigger ones these ones Basic into basic, basic. What? Oh, I say, why wouldn't that stack? Uh, recipe, recipe, redstone. Oh my gosh, the actor uses. All right, now we have the basic. How do we go up now? We need um, nine, right? Um, Nine, eighteen, eighteen, thirty-six. Thirty-six of them. Oh, we got six. That stuff is easy to craft for us now. Sixteen. We're out of blazing crystals. How do we make that? Or energized steel, sorry. Uh gold and iron. Gold, iron. All right, I'm gonna go bang out a bunch of these real quick and I will be back. All right, guys, so quite a bit of time later. Um, I made up some of these basic crystals. I believe this should be enough, hopefully. If we go uses, we need the blazing capacitor first. Make the blazing capacitor. We just made a bunch of these things. Apparently we need just a little bit more. Because I just used some to upgrade guys in here. This is just about an instant. We're probably going to automate that next episode. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. 
We're out of redstone. No. Um. All right, fear me. Okay, so we just crafted a bunch of these. We need a bunch of these. A bunch of these. So recipe large. Need a bunch of them. Recipe. Oh crap! I ran out of those already. I'm just failing today. Um. You see the process I'm going through, though. So I'm gonna keep doing this and creating these upgraded capacitor with the the other ones that I showed you all, the diamonds and emeralds. I'm gonna get this reactor dispirited and we'll we'll plop it on down. All right, guys, finally, and I mean finally, we went and got everything we need. Um. Let's uh let's go smelt the rest of this raw uranite up. I've just a bit of it we can just toss on in here and smelt that that stuff down real quick. Um but we finally have the spirited reactor. We are going to put it right here in the wall. It is a three by three by four tall, I believe it said. Something like so. Do I have that? I do. I have it one more back. I just took my hammer out. Now, this isn't the max upgraded one. This is just the one below it. it is the spirited reactor. But I think this boy is actually pretty good as well. Yeah. Yeah. 100,000 FE a tick. We will take it. Um, there is some things we're going to need, um, including more of these ripped spruce logs, apparently. I have any more of those? I feel like I should. So if we continue with our pet, oh boy, that's dark oak. Ripped dark oak. Of course, I have some of that as well. Something like that continues the floor pattern. We need coal blocks and a whole lot of them. 57. That's enough. I believe we need redstone blocks. I crafted those up. And uranite. And if we toss the coal in here, toss the redstone in here, um, makes it work better. And then ice, I believe. We need... We have snow, we have ice, we have water. Um, how about a sink? We need a water bucket. Okay, do we have a bucket? What is going on with the game? Bucket. Okay need water i need to put wool on them spawners because they're loud as hell i think that's actually what's causing some of my lag the minute we get a sink though we have infinite water so flash home come all the way down into here oh that's ugly We don't want any of them. We want planks. Just like so. We want a sink. Okay. Now I think I can access the water from like right here. Um we go like so we need fluid pipes fluid pipe toss that boy there need our wrench and that should act as a coolant um but a solid coolant we do not have if we toss that in there during night you can see it's storing it cooking it and it's currently generating six, six, 
in the 60,000 ish FE a tick range, which is phenomenal. That's absolutely amazing. That's what's this guy doing? This guy is doing 8,000 FE a tick. This guy's doing a lot more than that. So I believe we can extract power out of the bottom from this plug here. Ooh. This plug here. Yep. We'll just connect that into our network. Like so. I'm just going to cheese and use that to get up. All right. So, I mean, this is looking pretty good. We're using power somewhere. But, um... We flip this auto mode on. This is only going to burn when this is down to 70%, which is probably going to get down there a lot. Um, we're going to have to set up a quarry or something to bring in more uranite. Well, and redstone and coal. Uh, and we're also going to have to find a solid coolant. Um, I believe we can make ice. We can press snowballs and we can make snowballs. Uh... How do we make snowballs using water and a blast cast in a blast pillar? The setup I used in all the mod seven and it works very, very well. So I'll probably do that. Um, might end up doing that off camera only because I set it up in my previous series. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I might record it we'll see but i mean for now for now it's it's doing pretty decent you know that is a lot of power but in the same sense we're, we're gonna need a power storage um because it's currently all just in pipes you know it, not very good but i'm gonna wrap up this episode this one from making the most basic and little power source that you can using uh these guys which by the way it's not really doing much at all it is working though because these were all empty but you know this isn't very this isn't very good uh we tried i tried but we have so many different power sources set up now it's insane wow we have copper for days um much coal the diamonds. But yeah, we can't rely on stuff like that to, you know, get us through. Um, I think it's time we get into some heavier automation, uh, starting with power. So next episode, we're going to just do like base optimization, turn that into an automation room for power. And we'll go from there. Other than that, guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you learned anything, do let me know. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.